Is there a small group of people that secretly rule the world from behind closed doors? There's been poetry written about this. Yes. What's the real story? Nearly half of American presidents belonged to secret societies. This is where the American nation is really forged. And some of these secret societies go all the way back to the Middle Ages. This is really where all this begins. And throughout the centuries, they've helped engineer the rise and fall of empires around the world. You got all that cultural connection between these organizations. Some people believe that during the American Revolution, the Founding Fathers had assistance from a group that was connected to the granddaddy of all secret societies, the Knights Templar. <laughs> their secrecy is their power, is their weapon. To check this theory out, I'm headed deep into the underworld. Many of America's founding fathers were part of a secret society called the Freemasons, and they used sacred rituals and tactics developed over centuries to help them win the American Revolution. But could the Freemasons have their roots in an older, more mysterious secret order, the Knights Templar? I'm hiking to Bagras Castle, a Knights Templar stronghold in Turkey, to examine any possible clues that might connect the Templars to the American Patriots. <sighs> oh, wow, look at that. That is Bagras Castle, a legendary mountaintop castle that loomed large in battles fought by the most famous religious warriors of all time, the Knights Templar. Founded in 1119, the Knights Templar was a military religious order of elite fighters whose original mission was to protect Christian pilgrims as they traveled to the Holy Land. The first rule of the Knights Templar was never retreat and never surrender. In one of their most famous conflicts, it's said that 500 Templars led an effort to defeat an army of 26,000, invading Jerusalem. Because of their fierce reputation in battle, the church granted them special status, and they went on to amass an enormous amount of power, answering only to the Pope himself. So how did a small secret society manage to become one of the most dominant and influential groups in world history? And could their fighting techniques have somehow been passed down through the ages to help the Founding Fathers win the American Revolution? We did. Yeah, welcome. There you are. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. That is a long climb. So what makes Bagras Castle so important to the, to the Knights Templar? Bukale, strategic Achidan. Strategically very important place. It's the vantage point. You can see one side Syria yeah. and the other side Anatolia. So kind of connects Anatolia to Syria all the way to Africa. Interesting. Muaddin tells me that the Templars used this high vantage point not only to spot from which direction the enemy was attacking, but also to communicate, using lighted torches to send messages to Templars below. The number of torches lit conveyed different messages. The same type of secret code employed by Paul Revere as he warned his militia forces of the upcoming British attack. But similar battle tactics used by Templars and Patriots didn't end with secret torch signals. There's a lot of tunnels in this castle. Is that right? Is that true? Yeah. These tunnels were used for warfare, getting behind the enemy yeah, and like... ambushing them. This castle is a weapon itself, like a sword. Can you take me down and can we look at these things now? Yes. I want to get a first-hand look at these tunnels and see if there's any similarities between this Templar stronghold and a military fortress back in the States, once used by the Continental Army. These are the tunnels. That's amazing. I'm looking at these, these 
holes that are along the wall here. There, there's a whole series of them right here. One, two, three, four, five. So this would have been used either to shoot from or to use spears through and stabbing outwards? Yeah. yeah. What they've created with these tunnel systems is the ability to create a surprise attack from within the castle. If, if armies have gotten in, if fighters have gotten in here, they're expecting the fight to come from up. Little do they know, the fight's gonna be coming from below. It's just an entire, you know, infrastructure of surprise. Back in 1994, archaeologists in Israel excavated a sprawling network of Templar tunnels beneath the ancient city of Akko. The Templars used the tunnels to smuggle people, weapons, and gold in and out of an immense and lavish fortress. Using the tunnels, they secretly maneuvered throughout the city, spying on and ambushing their enemies. Whenever outnumbered, they used the secret hideaways to their military advantage. It's hard to defeat an enemy hidden beneath your feet. And historians believe the Templars went on to dig elaborate tunnel systems throughout all of Europe. You know, this is a different kind of fighting. And these guys have been traveling throughout this entire region, fighting battles for centuries, literally. So they have the most innovative ways to fight, and they are the best fighting force in the world. The Knights Templar rose to immense heights. But in 1312, some feared they'd become too powerful and they were disbanded by the one person who knew the identity of every member, Pope Clement V. The Templars were rounded up, most of them arrested, tortured, and burned at the stake. It's believed some escaped and went underground, continuing to operate in secret. Nevertheless, this marked the sudden and violent end of history's most elite military order.